good morning or good day good lunch it's almost lunch now and i'm out for my my sunday walk all right so let's get into it let's compare elixir to php now elixir and php are so different from each other that it's almost like comparing apples and oranges but i'm going to try my best to make some type of point with this video that makes you kind of get a sensation of the way that I think about working in these two languages. Now, on the, first, the, the great part about PHP, I really, which is something I have loved with it since I started, I think it's the reason why most people get into PHP as their first web language. It used to be the case. I think maybe JavaScript and Node is stealing away a little bit of that now, but that used to be the default language for anyone who wanted to do web work. And I think that is the case because since it's a very nice scripting language, it's very easy to get started. You don't have to do much in terms, like you have projects such as WAMP, LAMP and XAMPP and so forth that gets, you know, you can have a running web page in PHP in a matter of minutes if you just like download the right start, like basically one of these projects and then you're off to the races and you can start developing. And another thing that is amazing in PHP is once again, it's because it's, you know, when it's web based, is that if the iteration process is really great. You make a code change, you refresh your page in the browser, and there are your changes. You don't have to recompile, you have no compilation, no nothing like that. So it's really great for that. Also, it has amazing support for HTML rendering, which it actually has such powerful support for that people fucked up our web pages for several years because they couldn't really handle that, handle the power that came, came in PHP. We're getting better at it now. MVC has helped a lot and introducing object-oriented programming into PHP was a really good move. Anywho, so that's the things that I really like about PHP. What I really like about Elixir is that it leverages functional programming paradigms a lot. It has some concepts such as like basically pattern matching and so forth. Like some of it is so different that it's really not, it's worthy of its own video. So I'm not going to try and convince you, I tell you about all the things that are going on in Elixir. All I can tell you is that if you are intrigued by functional pra programming and having, building this sort of system that never dies, it never dies, it literally runs forever, then I think you should look into Elixir. It's developed by the Ruby community, or Jose Valin was the original contributor, contribu the guys who contributed the most. And it's a, it's a very different way of programming. If you come from any other programming language and you've never done any type of functional or anything like that, I've seen seasoned veterans look at this language and kind of go, Okay, this is a little bit different. Not in a bad way, it's just that it's going to be different. And if you compare these two languages, I would say that if you are a traditionally minded person, or not traditionally minded person necessarily, but you're the sort of person who just wants to see stuff to work. You want to get things done, and we're talking about web development now, of course, then I think PHP is where you should be. It's the quickest way to get started, quickest to learn, quickest to get a web page going. But Elixir is, in my opinion, more suited to do a lot of other stuff that I don't think, I, it's, uh, it's wrong of me to say that you can't do it in PHP. I mean, I worked at, in Ticketmaster for so long, well, a few years anyway, and the, like the, that server side is done in PHP as well, and this is one of the largest systems in the world. So PHP can handle scale, which is the case at Facebook as well. I mean, they used, they have their own thing now, but they used PHP as well. So it's unfair to say that PHP can't handle scale, but Erlang, which is the engine that is, or the language underneath Elixir, can handle scale as well and it handles uptime in a very different manner. It came to from the 
from the telecommunications world, which is, if you may, you, in my opinion, probably the industry in the world that knows the most about uptime and stability when it comes to digital systems. So, unfortunately, I've never had the chance to professionally work with Elixir at that type of scale. It would be great to see to try it out. I might actually switch switch my next job. My I'll see if I can apply to Ericsson or one of the companies here and see if I can get to work a little bit with Erlang and Elixir. We'll see. But the thing is that Elixir is, in my opinion, maintained by one of the best communities in the world when it comes to development experience. And I've built enough in Elixir to tell you that although it's different from how you traditionally work, when you get over the first hump and you get into the language, you are actually at least that's what I feel. I'm actually able to be more productive than in most other languages, and I can solve problems in a way that feels that is different, but when it clicks for you, it feels almost intuitive. It becomes this pleasant surprise as to how you can solve problems. And you start thinking about it in a completely different way. This is the way I, I actually argue that this is one of those languages, Elixir is one of those languages that just by learning it, you will be better, uh, become better at programming overall. I actually believe so. And it's the same, I feel, that, I feel the exact same way about Haskell and C and these other languages that you may not use every day, but I think it's very, very valuable for you to learn them. So, when do you pick one over the other? Well, I would say that this is an adventure type of question. Are you building a web server or web API or something like that and you just want it to like you're more you want to focus more on just shipping something very quickly. If you want to ship stuff quickly as you are now, if you never used any like if you don't know which one to pick, go with PHP because you're most likely going to get something up and running and working and so forth quicker because Elixir, as I said, has a little bit of a learning curve. I am one of those people who want that learning curve because I really like the language and the potential that is in that language. So for those of us who want to work with this the, the, like more modern technology and something that, it, in, in my opinion, is truly exciting and has, you know, basically the potential to be one of the best server-side languages that we have in modern time, then you go with Elixir. Be part of that community, I highly, recomm highly recommend it. But yeah, those are my two cents on these two languages. So if you're going for speed and de develop, like getting things done quickly, do it in PHP. If you want to have a little bit of an adventure and grow as a programmer, go with Elixir.